So today I'll be doing a sales analysis and performance dashboard with Power BI. So the real question is, what is a sales analysis dashboard? A sales analysis dashboard is a visual representation of sales data and performance metrics. It is designed to provide an overview of a business sales activities. It typically includes different visualizations that display information on sales data. Such dashboards are essential for any business because it offers critical insight into sales performance, helping businesses make informed decisions. A sales dashboard empowers organizations to optimize sales strategies, allocate resources efficiently, and ultimately drive revenue growth. So this is an example of a sales dashboard. So the problem that many businesses face is the data volume and complexity of data. Like there's a lot of data. So the, pro the main problem it will address is to gain insights into sales performance and profitability in the retail beverage industry. So the main aims that this dashboard will address is the first one is which retailers are top performers in terms of total sales and profitability and how sales vary across different regions and states. And that lastly, it, what is the most popular beverage brand among customers? And my solution to this is creating an interactive Power BI dashboard. The dashboard will include various visualizations and the data sets that I will be using for this demonstration was taken from Kegel. It contains clean data with sales information. Okay, so let's get started. For in order to create this dashboard, you have to go onto Power BI desktop and um, in order to import data into Power BI, you either click on get data and connect to different data sources. And for the demonstration of this, I'll be using an Excel workbook. So you just choose your data set and wait for it to connect to your data set. The reason I'm using Excel as Excel workbook for this is because Excel provides a high degree of like flexibility for your data analysis and manipulation. So yeah, this must take this might take a bit, so just wait for it. Okay, so here is the data. This is the Excel file. So let's say, for example, you have your data is unclean and you want to clean it. Like there's no values or errors. You can click on transform data. It will take you to Power Query where you can like clean your data or add more columns. For this demonstration, they are the data set is clean, so you don't we don't have to do all of that. So we just load the data. This will take a while. OK. So here is your data from the Excel file. So in order for us to build um, an interactive dashboard, we need to understand which visuals to choose. So for the first visual that I'll be using is a slicer which is also a filter that allows users to segment the data by a specific value. So I will be filtering by specific quarter. So in order to filter by quarter, I can just drag quarter and place it on the field. And Just wait for Power BI to do its thing. So I don't want it to show as uh, like these check boxes. What I can do is go under format your visual and uh, slicer settings, change this to a tile. Right. And the next 
visual is also a slicer, but this time I'm going to filter by month. You want to see the total sales by month. So just drag and drop it on the field. Change the style to a tile. And kind of just align it wherever you want. Okay, and the other one will also be a, a slicer for a specific region. We'll also do another one for beverage brand, filter by beverage brand. Let's make this a drop down. And the final slicer will be by retailer. Changed format to a tile. Okay, um, let's Let's change the background of this canvas. You click on format your report and then under that you go to canvas background and the color. I'll just choose blue. And decrease the transparency. Okay. okay. The next visual that I'll use is um, a card visual. So a card visual will help us display the key summary metrics like your total sales, your operating profit, your operating margin. So these uh, KPIs are really important for like your stakeholders if they want to invest in your company. They want to see how your, your business is performing like the total sales, the amount of profit that you're making. So, which is why I chose this one to display this. Total sales. Let's do more for just copy this and paste. So we want sum of total sales and sum of units sold. So under the field, you can just drag units sold. And uh, we also want to see the sum of operating profits. Just drag and drop it on the field. And for the last one, the operating margin. I don't want the sum, so I want to see the average operating margin as like, as a percentage. So in order to show a percentage, you can just click on operating margin and click on percentage at the top. The third visual that I'll use that I think will be appropriate will be a stack column chart. So a stack column chart will help us identify the top performing retailers.
So we want to display the sum of total sales by month. So on the x-axis, you can just drag month, and on the y-axis, you have the sum of to total sales. So here's your graph. For the next, I'll want to display the sum of total sales by retailer. For that, I'll use a stacked bar chart. Sum of total sales by retailer. You just drag the retailer onto the y axis and the total sales into the x axis. And the Power BI will do the graph for you. The next one will be to display the sum of units sold by beverage brand. I'll use a pie chart. The pie chart will help us see which brands are like most popular or contribute most to the total sales of the business. So the legend field is um, Typically, uh, it represents the categorical data that defines groups or categories in a chart. So for this, the legend field, you have, uh, you're going to put the beverage brand because it represents a group of beverage brands. And for values, the field value, you have to put like numerical data. So in this case, it's units sold. So here's a graph. Now I want to display the sum of units sold by city. For this, I can use a tree map. A tree map uh, helps us see which categories contribute to the most to the overall profit. So the sum of units sold by city. For category, we'll choose the city, drag and drop it on category. And for the values, we'll use the units sold. So what you can do here is like filter this into like the top 10, so the top um, five cities. In order to do that, you can click on this drop down here by drop down by city and under filter type, choose top n and write down the number you want to display it for. By value, you just drag the unit sold onto by value and apply filter. And here you the sum of units sold by the for the top five cities. And the final um the final appropriate visual for this will be a donut chart. So another legend field we want to display the total sales by state. So under the region field, you'll have the state, drag and drop it, and the total sales. Here you can also filter the state by perhaps the top eight states. You do the same thing, just go under filter type and change that to top n and drag and drop the total sales and apply filter. So, yeah. 
So yeah, this is your dashboard. You can just align it however you prefer. Okay, so yeah, this is your sales analysis dashboard. Thank you for listening.